good welcome or welcome back to my channel this makeup is different today i know it's not even like really that different it's just literally like stars under my eyes but i actually really like it i think it's cute what do you think i think i like it <laughs> um but uh what was i saying okay so today we're actually styling our hair just to kind of like level up the ponytail i guess you could say even though it's already cute this is the inh mia ponytail i do have a discount code it will be on the screen right here and also down below i'm just going to be showing you guys some little things that you can just like add to the ponytail just so it like you know adds to the style of it this is in the shade toffee i know it doesn't match my hair exactly i know so don't come for me but um i have styled it in ways where it looks like it matches my hair can't wait to wash this hair after this video i've been waiting to do this video that's why i haven't washed my hair so i'm excited to wash my hair after this so since i haven't washed my hair in a good amount of days i am going to spray some dry shampoo this is the igk hair direct flight multitasking matcha dry shampoo and this is a medium cleanse level um they also claim that it's texturizing volumizing and a style extender i love matcha if you guys know me i love green tea matcha so this is really exciting for me okay so i'm just gonna go ahead and slick my hair back um, i know my hair isn't straight but i'm gonna try to hide it as much as possible i really just wanted to show you guys how i like to style my mia pony so i'm just gonna start spraying the top right here and slick it down a low ponytail i live for it i'm just gonna go ahead and turn around so you guys can see uh, the way that i insert it into my ponytail so you guys can see for yourself if you guys do decide to get it you guys will see right now that uh, my layers do pop out but again if i was to be going out i would make sure to put in some gel and really make it slick and look look really really clean because that's the way that these ponytails look really nice so i'm going to take my mia pony and i just stub it into the ponytail pretty much then you wrap it around and then you take the extra piece of hair i like to hold the ponytail with my right hand just so that this can get as tight as possible and you want to make sure that this can this goes as far as possible around because if you leave a lot of hair out it will pop out under here and i learned that the hard way so you just got to learn how to work with things and then with the bobby pins that come in the pack with the pony um you will get two of them so you just want to make sure that you secure that hair just so that it stays down and this is how it looks okay i know you guys can see my hair under this and it's not straight i know that but um, I'm going to show you guys how I hide it and how I kind of work with my hair so that it blends really nice with the ponytail. So since I have layers right here and they're kind of popping out, I'm going to take the She's Cute um, pin and just put this in my hair. And these are so good. They do not snag. They're really, really nice. They go on really smooth. Um, and they actually hold your hair, which is nice because, you know, when you wear a bobby pin, most of the time it's that it holds it. So I'm just going to go ahead and put this right here. Just like that. And... Like, you can wear this. If my hair was straight, this would look perfectly fine. And it's just so cute. I love it. That literally took me, like, under a minute. Okay, so for this pony, I'm going to take... I'm going to get three little ligas. And then I'm going to put them into, like, little bubbles. So I'm going to take this one right here. And do it at, right here. Kind of where my hair in so that it holds it in place. And I kind of have to work with it because... I do want to make sure that it does blend really, really nice. And when you do this, you want to make sure that the rubber bands are tight or else it'll look funny. And they'll start sliding down and it looks like you didn't even have the space in between them. Which, I mean, doesn't look that nice. Okay. So here we have this. Oops. Okay, so there we have that one. And then I'm going to take one up to like right here. Just that the space is even in between because I feel like that's the way it looks the cutest. And then I just tie it tight. And then you can pull it down. You won't, don't want to go up though because then that will make it look like it's just like teased or something. And then it just looks kind of messy. And then here we have all this too. So I'm going to take this right here and just do this at the end. And it's better to have a little bit of space and then you can just pull it down so that it doesn't mess with the pony and how it looks. So here we have this right here, but I do want to show you guys that I like to really make it kind of, I like to make these bigger and just kind of more messy just because it looks cuter like that. And I will just pull the hair out of the bottom one just so that we do get like little bubbles. And I think this looks so cute. And if you guys want to hide your hair color like mine, because it isn't the same color, um, I'm going to do the hairstyle that I did to BeautyCon, except we're going to have this um, little style in. So I'm pretty much just going to take this beret, 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 I think it's called. This is actually from Sorella. And I just put it on the forehead like this. 
And then, just like that. I like to tuck my ear in though because we don't need our ears popping out like that. And then just fix the braid to like how you'd like it. And it's so cute. Like, look at that. It's so, so cute. I love this style. And you can just wear any other hat if you would like to hide your hair. And there. It's hidden. You never know. So if you ever want to hide your hair color, just put a hat on, some accessories, and it works. So I'm not going to take this out and redo it because it kind of came out because I didn't do it tight enough. Okay, so I'm just going to start off from the beginning. I'm literally going to slick back the whole thing again. And then do this one a little bit higher because of my layers, so this will help keep them in the ponytail. Kind of like almost a mid, but not entirely. I guess it would be like a mid ponytail. We're going to do it like right there. And you want to make sure that this ponytail is tight so that the Mia Pony has something to stay on to. Just like that. So when I wear these ponies, I like to do two rubber bands. I didn't do the two rubber bands for the previous hairstyle because I didn't have enough rubber bands on me to do it with the style that I wanted to do it. And I'm just wrapping this around like this. I'm just splitting it into three different sections. And I'm just going to braid it down. This pony would look so good in a fishtail, but I do not know how to fishtail. I should probably learn because I feel like that would be so, so pretty. But pretty much you can do whatever you want with this pony. And you have so much hair. Like, you can do so many different hairstyles. When I went to BeautyCon, I got asked if this was human hair. And I was like, sure, yeah. <laughs> and then for the bottom, I'm actually going to take a little scrunchie. So I'm going to take this silk scrunchie. And then just tie it off on the bottom. Okay, so this is how the braid looks. It's really clean, really cute. It's just there, and it's a nice touch if you want to add it to an outfit. And just to add a little gold touch, I'm going to take this INH pin. This is in the shade. This is the style she's single. I don't know why I was going to say the shade, but it's in the style she's single because there's only a little single little diamond on it, and it's so, so cute. So those are the hairstyles that I wanted to show you guys today. Um, putting on the pony to actually styling the pony probably takes like a minute to a minute 30. I do have a discount code with INH if you guys are interested in trying out the ponies. I'll put it right here on the screen and also down below in the description box as always. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to give me a thumbs up if you guys liked it so I know that you guys liked it. And also let me know down below in the comments if you guys have tried any of the INH ponies out. And also what shade you guys are, I want to know. I have like a lot of the light shades. Like this is Toffee. I also have Ash Blonde and Honey. Um, but I feel like this one really complements my skin really well. I hope that you guys have a good day, night, wherever you guys are. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Make sure to subscribe to see me on my next video. Okay, bye.